Apa Kabar from Lombok in Indonesia. I'm Roxanne Taylor, a video journalist and travel vlogger from Australia. And most of us Aussies frequent Bali, but Lombok here is just next door. And yet the tourism industry is only just getting started. So I wanted to come here to make a video to show you a little bit about the culture here, the quiet beaches and some secret islands. So make sure you click subscribe and that notification bell and let's go. Welcome to Kuta Beach. Now this is not the Kuta Beach you might be used to if you've been to Bali before. This is Kuta Beach in Lombok and it feels a world away. There are no tourists, no rubbish, white sand, clean. It is so beautiful. I really hope that you get the chance to come here. I got some really cheap flights here from Bali. Uh, you can also get a boat if you've got the time. And very soon there's gonna be direct flights here from Perth. So if you're from Perth like I am, it's gonna be even cheaper and quicker to get right here and enjoy this new Bali as they're trying to call it. I've just walked around this huge rock. It's so pretty! The serenity! The tides just started to come in quite quickly here, so I'm just gonna head back. I don't fancy getting stuck. Monyet! There! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! There is a monkey in the tree! Whoa, it's got big balls. I feel like David Attenborough right now. Oh my god, I shat. <laughs> so I was bending down like on the ground to get a shot of them at their level, which they obviously assumed as I was getting ready to run at them and attack them. Now I know the body language for dealing with monkeys in the wild. <laughs> Apart from the monkey encounter, Kuta Beach is actually really relaxing. The kids selling bracelets ended up just playing with me and the other tourists and wanting to take a lot of photos. And I taught them a few nail painting tricks to improve their chances of getting manicure customers. The main street in Kuta is small and lined with a few nice western style cafes and restaurants amongst the local ones. It's super laid back and no haggards. Hello Park. You can easily walk around town but you do need a scooter or a driver to get the most out of this area because South Lombok has plenty of empty beaches and awesome surf breaks. I've just arrived at the Bukit, which is the hill, and this is the best place, I'm told, to watch sunset. So we've just parked up, and we're just gonna walk up the hill and check out the sunset. So many kids here selling their little bracelets. I'm definitely not unimpressed with this view. This is probably one of the best places that I've seen here in terms of how vast the landscape is. It's so green. What a beautiful place to come out and chill. So my driver's telling me that the next spot around the hill is even better than this view. Good choice. As night fell, I followed my ears to a small music bar and bumped into some friends from Gilly Islands. Before we go to the traditional villages, a quick look at where I was staying in Kuta. This cute little homestay was just behind the main street, so it was close enough but quiet and was only $15 a night for the room. Thank you so much for visit. Thank you for everything. Sampai jumpa. Sampai jumpa. On my way north, I visited the Sade traditional village where they still live, the traditional Sasak way. 700 people, uh, one big family, yeah, because people here are uh, married with cousin, uh, not married in the girl for the outside village. Mm -hmm. So I'm here quite early in the morning, so not all the little shops are open, but most of the houses have small stores selling out the front, handmade jewellery, art, sarongs. You can see here the buildings, how they're made. It's using mud on the ground and then thatched. Hello! <laughs> Thatched bamboo grass here. 
and then they use grass on the roof. So it's a real natural way of building and there's still 150 houses here that are built this way and living the traditional lifestyle. This is the oldest house. Yeah. And this uh, floor, uh, clean in the cow dung. That's right, they polish the floors and walls with cow dung to repel mosquitoes, but luckily it doesn't smell. Then I swung past the Sukurara traditional weaving village where you can see women at work on their designs. You can take a selfie dressed in traditional material and while a little pricier here you can purchase some to take home. Thanks for watching my channel Roxanne Taylor Media. In the next episode we're off to Sekatong to discover some secret islands so click subscribe and I'll see you again soon.